Hi guys, welcome to Computer Made Simple. Today we'll see how to change RAM in a laptop. To do so, you will need a screwdriver, some RAM, and a laptop. Now to start, let's uh, remove the battery. We will uh, make sure that the computer is unpowered, make sure no static electricity can affect it. And to make sure that the power is completely drained, we will simply hold the power button for 5 to 10 seconds to make sure we clear any capacitors that still had any kind of power uh, and make sure that the computer is completely electricity free. Once we've held down the button for about 10 seconds, we'll try to locate which slash we need to remove. Now in this case, there's two places we can remove. On the left side for the hard drive and on the back for the RAM. As you can see, the little icons indicate that it is the RAM location. Other screw holes are for keyboard, and I think that's it. Now we'll start by removing the screws. For this particular model, the two screws at the top remain attached to the plastic piece. And as you'll see later, the third one was not necessary to remove. As soon as removed, we can find the two modules, two RAM modules. These are laptop RAM modules, so they're smaller than their desktop counterparts. Now we'll just unpackage our new modules and here we are upgrading for 2 times 4 gigs to 2 times 8 gigs of RAM. Once the modules are out of their case, we'll have to remove the old ones. Now these modules are being held down by clips and as soon as we remove the clips you'll see they will pop up to about 45 degrees like so. Now it's important that you can only add or remove the RAM when it is at an angle like that, not when it is being held down flat. So make sure that you pop the clips, the RAM will pop up by itself, and you slide it out at an angle. It's important to note there is a notch in the RAM, so that means the RAM can only go in one way. As you can see on the receiver side, there is also a notch. So make sure you line them up the right way and they should slide in without any type of resistance. You will have to push them in, they won't just fall in place, but not much force is required if the notch is properly aligned. Once it's in all the way, you just push it down and the clips will click in place. Same thing for the second mod. Slide it in at an angle and push it down in place. Perfect. Now normally you would just put the cover back on, screw it on, and you'd be done. But at this point, I just want to make sure that the system recognizes all 16 gigs of RAM. So if we have to do any adjustments or repositioning or place back the old modules, then the casing is already off. So now I'll just boot up the computer real quickly, wait for it to appear on the desktop. And once we're on the desktop, we'll go to System Properties. And as we can see, 16 gigabytes of memory have been found. That means both our modules are working fine. And we can now close this off. On this particular model, only the small section of the back can be removed to get access to the RAM modules. Some other computers will have much larger panels but usually it will be identified uh, as uh, it will be identified so you can upgrade the RAM or the hard drive, which are usually the two items you are able to upgrade yourself on a laptop without the need to completely tear it apart. Now it's important when you tighten the screws back in, as soon as you feel resistance, as soon as it's snug, that's tight enough. You don't want to strip the screws and risk uh, not being able to open it up anymore. Alright, that was easy. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys next time.